because this one's gonna be deep. So, to all the newcomers to my channel, hi, I am Louisiana Gator, also known as Gator Reaper, and I had the hell of a time the last two years. I, uh, ended up finding out that I had stage 3 squamous cell carcinoma that had neck, which really impacted my life for the worst. Um... I wasn't, like, really able to eat. I started, like, you know, losing energy, and it just got further and further, and by the time that I was actually admitted into the hospital, the doctors legit said that I was at the end stages of life. So, if I wouldn't have went there, I would be dead right now. And so, I spent nearly a month in the hospital, just, like, trying to get me stable and everything, and get some sort of nutrition in me in the form of a g-tube and that's why i had that because i couldn't eat all right i couldn't eat i couldn't walk um because i had to be intubated and everything that screwed up with my vocal cords and everything and then i had a lot of my teeth removed so i do have a little bit of a lisp and i do acknowledge it sometimes but it doesn't really bother me at this point because at least i'm still here because like i said if i wouldn't have went i would be dead right now because I was that close to death. I was knocking on death's doorstep at that point. So, you know, fast forward, I get home and everything, get settled in, and then I have to start doing physical therapy. And I do have videos on here, on here uh, doing a little bit of physical therapy and everything, and, you know, using a walker and whatnot. You know, just trying to build the strength back up in my legs because, you know, I was, hos I was hospital uh, or bed bound for damn near a year, pretty much, right? And, um, <clears throat> so I started all that, and, you know, there's times I wanted to give up. I wanted to give up on the treatments, I wanted to give up on physical therapy, but I didn't. And I kept going, and I kept pushing myself, and pushing myself even further. Probably shouldn't have, because I could have ended up hurting myself, but I kept going, and I kept going, and I got to where I am now. And I'm gonna tell you right now, in the terms of strength, I'm pretty much a little powerhouse. I'm about five foot six, five foot seven. I'm a short motherfucker, all right. But when it comes to my strength, I can lift some pretty heavy shit. This Marshall four x twelve cabinet for one person isn't really that light, which is why you see a lot of people either put them on casters, or you'll have two people literally carrying them around, unloading them off their you know tour van, loading them back on, transporting them like. It's almost a two-person operation, but, but, I got this motherfucker up the stairs by myself. My grandmother was not here, but she probably wouldn't be able to help me. My grandfather wasn't here. They were out, out doing something, probably at the casino or something. My mom can't help me right now because her fucking shoulder's fucked up, so I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put some fucking elbow grease and muscle in it, and I'm gonna get it up here by myself. And I did. So, with that being said, um, that 2x12 from Orange, I got that bitch up here by myself as well. I carried it up here. I inched my way up there, so I didn't, like, stumble or anything, but I got it up here. I got this big bitch up here. And, literally, the, uh, the head that I bought for the 4x12 cabinet... That thing ain't light either. I think it weighs like close to 20 to 30 pounds by itself. It's a tube amp. And I'm just amazed and proud of how far it actually came. Now, I am going to go into this real quick. Um, I'm still not okay from like all the cancer shit, right? Like, I still have memories of that. And I do have flashbacks and nightmares because of that. It's not anything that the hospital or the nurses or anyone did it's just something that's a part of my my subconscious memory and there will be days where you know i'm happy go lucky and there will be days where i just want to fucking cry and cry and cry and cry and you know honestly i think that makes me a lot stronger the fact that i admit i can cry and i have done it i've done it after i beat cancer i've done it during my cancer battle where i just wanted to give the fuck up and let cancer do whatever it wanted but I had family around me, and that was the motivation I needed. It was honestly the motivation I needed. And then obviously, you know, I have Florida Outlaw, and then I have Motor, aka Georgia Outlaw. Now it's Georgia Squid. And, um, 
yeah, I, honestly, I'm proud of where I am. Um, you know, I, I could have caved in to the fucking, like, oh, you're never gonna, like, make it or anything like this. You're not gonna get better. And, yeah, if I would have gave up, no, I wouldn't have got better. I would have gotten worse. But I didn't give up. I kept fucking going. I kept fighting. I kicked cancer's ass. Not many people can actually say that. And, you know, that's the sad reality of it. I was one of the few that was actually able to beat cancer because one, I had a great fucking team, and two, the type of cancer I had was easily treatable. Um, and that's another thing you have to focus on. Different types of cancers affect people differently and they respond to treatments differently. Some cancers won't even respond to chemo or radiation, especially if it's at stage four where your chances of survival are cut drastically in half or maybe almost 100%. So, like, it's definitely a battle. It is a long, 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 painful road. I'm going to tell you right now, having cancer is not a walk in a park. It is painful. It is aggravating. You, when you have to get up every day to do your treatments or one of your treatments, and then you have to pretty much be out all day to do both of your treatments on the same day, it just it honestly gets old after a while. And you can see why I kind of wanted to give up and I'm sure a lot of people be like yeah would, you probably should have gave up but it's like you know fuck you because that's another thing that drove me to keep going is so I can piss you fucking idiots off that hate me for no fucking reason or the fact that I exposed you for what you were so but the main reason why I kept going is for my family my mother my sister my grandmother my grandfather my aunts my uncles like, pretty much everybody in my family, on both my mom's side and my dad's side. And, honestly, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be able to sit here and tell you this story of how I went from this weak, frail, 20-something-year-old dude, 27-year-old dude, to a fucking powerhouse. Just by, you know, exercising, walking, you know, because I live in a two-story house... So, I have to walk up and down the stairs, and that's exercise in itself. Plus, I lift weights, and then, you know, again, moving these big motherfuckers around. That'll give you ass to fucking work out quick, fast, in a hurry. Even with these ants, it'll give you a fucking workout. So, yeah. And then you also have to keep in mind that my Marshall Code 50, that little bitch ain't light either. It's, it's pretty heavy for what it is as a 12-inch driver. It's a solid state, uh... Or not solid state, but it's a modeling imp, which I guess would be solid state. So, yeah, I like, I get a lot of workout moving things around. Even my guitar. This this one back here, the uh, silver tone, that bitch ain't light. I can tell you that right now. That bitch uses a heavy wood for its body. But the point of the matter is, is if you keep working at what you're doing, you will eventually succeed. It may seem like it's hard at first, but once you find a rhythm... Or, like, a way to do it in a way that makes you feel comfortable, but still actually helps you out at the same time. That's when you're going to go for gold, and you're going to literally reach the end. And to anyone who is who is battling cancer right now, and it's not life-threatening, don't give up on the treatments. I know, I know what you're going through. I've been through it myself. The sickness, uh, the headaches deny being able to want to do anything don't want to get out of bed you're not feeling good you're always throwing up i've been through all of that but i'm gonna tell you right now if you can keep on you will see the end of your treatment and you will possibly live a happy cancer-free life you just gotta have hope and if you're religious have faith in god that's all i can say is have faith in god I would not be here, again, right now, I would not be here if I would have gave up on my treatments. If I would have stopped taking my medication and stopped going to my treatments, I'd be fucking dead right now. And honestly, you know, the more that I think about it, the more it breaks my heart. Because I was so fucking selfish in that moment, even though that I was in physical pain from the treatments, that I didn't realize when I was saying this shit... That was hurting everybody else around me. And I think this honestly taught me a valuable lesson. To cherish life as it is. Yeah, your life may suck at some points. 
but just remember there's always someone who has it worse and if you can help out that person go ahead help them out cheer them up tell them that it's gonna be all right be a friend be your ear listen to them give them advice on how to you know like tell them to find some type of hobby or something so or get into a group where they're actually feeling wanted um if you know if it wasn't for my group you know alex motor you know my family my doctors my physical therapist my speech therapist i honestly wouldn't be making this video right now because again i wouldn't be here i would not be here i would have gave up a long time ago but i'm glad i am glad that i did not give up because if i did i don't know what would happen i know i would have died and then my family my friends they would all be heartbroken so all I can say is, is, I'm glad I completed my treatments. I'm glad I got to ring that motherfucking bell. I'm glad I got to kick cancer's ass. Because that was one of the worst times of my life. That was the worst battle I have ever faced. And I came out victorious. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Do your regular checkups like you're supposed to. I'll see you guys later. Peace.